Hello guys, TKG's here for your comfortable low stock life. In this video, I'd like to cover the skill builds and combos of the artist. As the artist class will perfectly settle down as a support character, so I thought it'd be great to show you a more detailed, in-depth version of the build of the artist. Now follow me, I'll show you what you need. Class engraving I use in this video is Mange, known as Full Bloom. Full Bloom build is a support class engraving. It'll generate the wavelengths when installing the Dorunane, Rising Sun, and those wavelengths provide healing for our teammates. Full Bloom guarantee decent and stable healing performance and smooth, light control, and low tripod leveling required. However, it is pretty hard to gain identity until you're used to it, and also she has intricate shield skills. Her recommended skill builds and composition is like this. As a support class, she has a lot of skills that are capable of protecting her teammates and buff skills that increase the damage, defense of her teammates. So she has 3 buff skills, 2 shield skills, and her noticeable purification skill, Gate of Illusion. Gate of Illusion not only the skill that capable of gaining identity, but also it can remove the debuff of teammates like Sacred Charm during the raid. For example, it can remove like Bleed in the Vault Gate 1, Stun, Feared, and Kaku Satan. Her shield skill is quite different like Bard and Paladins. Those class are more like passive shield skill, right? If you just use the skill, it'll automatically provide shields to nearby teammates. But Artist is not. You have to aim your cursor toward your teammates in order to provide shields. So her shield performance can be a little different by your players. And above all, her shield skill can perform great at Stagger gimmicks too. And one tripod you need to know is Mangulnagi, the ink mark. If you make a hit with the skill with the ink mark tripod, mark target will get 10% more damage from your teammates, including yourself. And the last skill can be filled with 3 flexible skills, so you have to use it in a different situation in the raid. Tiger Slash, Pum Garagi is capable at weak point, stagger gimmicks. Milky Way, Mirine is an additional shield skill that has a paralyzed immune tripod. And Ink Blow, Mongmul Sere is a skill that leaves ink mark for the enemy, and it has a defense orb drop tripod that can enhance your survival. Her recommended gem setting is like this. As a support class, her performance is quite depends on her skill cooldown, so her gem composition is all consistent with Crimson Gems. Her recommended relic gear is Yearning, and as you can see, she has a 2 combat stat setting available. As I mentioned, her performance is from the skill cooldown, so full swiftness stat is commonly used. Full spec build can be a good choice if you want to provide more healing and attack rate buff. But in my personal experience, full spec has not much distinctive advantage than swiftness stat. And of course, it has a little more bad reputation about those stats, so it can make it hard to get into the party. Her recommended engraving is like this. I use the vital strike point for more effective performance at the gimmicks. If you want to support more your teammates, try to use the drops of ether. Let me show you our identity skill first. Dorunane, Rising Sun is a healing skill. Consuming one identity orbs and installing one stationary healing orbs that can be interacted. Those reducing bar represent the remaining time of those orbs. If you want to get additional healing, try to interact before the time runs out. Next identity is Chamunundar, setting mood. Consuming two identity orbs and provide 10% attack rate increase buff for 10 seconds. The reason why I told you she has a little intricate skill management. First, skill code Heumul needs to step on those areas to get attack rate increase buff. If you want to give a buff and gain identity at the same time, you need to consider two things. Are the teammates are inside of the Heumul? and are those area effectively making hits to your enemy. Second, her shield skill is active skill. So her shield skill scatter and small lead need to target toward your teammate. So Hupurigi scatter effect only inside of those ink. And small lead, Kongkongi effects only when you made a hit with the 3 times of area of jumps. So if you wish to gain identity and provide shield at the same time, it can be more intricate inside of the actual gameplay. So you need to understand the skill first for better management. Third, the buff cannot be overlapped. So if you wish to give continuous buff, you need more accurate calculation. Unlike the other skills of your artist, Gate of Illusion provide identity gauge just installing it. Now let me show you most common combos of our
that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone and always thanks for your big support. If you like my videos, hit the sub for more coming infos. I'll come back with more useful infos in the next video.